In this 310 Copilot tutorial, we'll cover how to predict pockets in your protein using a method called AF2 bind. Now, why might you care about protein pockets? First, if you have an unknown protein and there's a strong pocket prediction, this might mean that it's an enzyme or maybe a small molecule receptor. Second, if you know that your protein binds a particular small molecule, but don't know where, you can first do a pocket prediction and then use the location of that prediction in a local docking method, for example, autodocmina, to get a good model of what your protein and small molecule complex looks like together. Third, if you have a potential drug target, it's very helpful to see if and where there might be pockets on the protein so that you can design a small molecule for those particular pockets. Now, to get started, first, you will need to load a structure. If you know the PDB ID, you can load it directly. For example, here we load 3PQR. Then you can ask Copilot, what are the potential binding hotspots on 3PQR? This will run AF2 bind and produce a table of all the residues in the protein, rank ordered by their probability of being involved in binding. In the visualizer, you'll see the structure colored blue where the binding probability is low and red where the binding probability is high. In this protein called Rhodopsin, you can see a pretty prominent pocket right in the middle. This is where naturally the small molecule retinol binds. Together, this is a complex in your eyes that senses light and allows you to see. In Copilot, if you hover your mouse over the sequence in the visualizer, we will automatically highlight the location in the structure for you. Also in Copilot, you actually do not have to separately load and run the pocket prediction. Instead, you can do both at once. For example, you can ask to load Q05769 and then predict its pocket. This runs a find function underneath to load the Unipro ID Q05769 and then runs AF2 bind for the pocket prediction. Again, you'll get a full table of each residue in the protein and their probability of being involved in binding, as well as a visualization where the red residues indicate higher probability of being involved in binding. In this protein, called cyclooxygenase 2, there's also a prominent pocket in the middle. Cyclooxygenase 2 is involved in pain signaling, and this pocket is where it produces those signals. Fun fact, this is also where common painkillers like aspirin bind. Remember that you can export your results for further analysis, and you can always share your sessions by sending the web URL. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.